All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, look, man. All right, man, so Wack 100. Wack 100, man. He has came out and said some things about, I guess, I don't want to say he retracted, but he said he was reading off something. But we're going to get into that in a second. But before I get into that, this is Torture Talk. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me earn your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, link's on the screen. If you want me to promote your channel and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just comment, email, send me your join. I hope you get there as best as I can. You know what I'm saying? I'll throw your throw you join up on the page, you know what I'm saying, so people can see it. And help you your subscribers get up. I'm trying to get everybody up. Shout out to everybody. Um, let me know where you're from too. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. Um, they called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Trying to get to a million by Monday. Yeah. So let's get to it. All right. So this comes courtesy of the Ville. You know what it is. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is the 8 a.m. show. Got to tell y'all that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, if you'd like to donate to the channel, the cash apps at the top right corner of the video. Let's get into it, man. So in the last video, we had talked about WAC 100 saying that the cease and desist was coming from Drake for Kendrick Lamar's Super Bowl performance, trying to restrict him from playing Not Like Us. Now, it's later came out that WAC 100 uh, was just not telling the truth, and that wasn't true, that he just heard it online. But Academics Now has came out <laughs> and said that he's heard directly from Drake that he did not send a cease and desist to Kendrick Lamar for his Super Bowl performance. So I'm going to play the clip right now and see what they say. Back in a second. Word from the horse's mouth, false. It's, um, according to Drake himself, it's not true. And... um Here's, here's the thing. I know some of y'all, because y'all are now indoctrinated to be like, no, Aki, he's just lying to you. He's using you. Well, if that's the case, we could make some money. And this is why I'm going to call Wack because we have an opportunity to make some money. Um, Because Drake himself told me, he said, hey, this is what he said. A cease and desist means you have to send it to the person. Get the likes up, y'all. You have to send it to them, Right. It's like he had, just like he has the cease and desist from Tupac's estate saying, stop promoting that song using Tupac's voice. Like he has the email, right? He has the document, whether they mailed it or emailed it. He says it doesn't exist. And he says, if it does exist, have Kendrick or anybody that's associated with this performance put it out. Okay, so there's a bunch of different things in that. First of all, Drake won't be the one sending the cease and desist because he's not the one that's really affected by it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with y'all, it's the record label that he's under or the deal that he's under that's being affected by it. So it won't be him directly because if you look at any of the cease and desist that was sent before, it wasn't done by him. At least I didn't see his name on there. Aubrey Graham name wasn't on there. So... This is a tricky thing because he could say, I didn't send it. Someone else sent it. You know what I'm saying? He could easily say that. He could say, well, it wasn't me that sent it. I, like I said, I didn't send it. That's what he could say. And knowing, knowing your boy, Drake, he would probably do something like that. Be honest with y'all. He probably would be the one to say he didn't send it. And it was someone else that did it. You know what I'm saying? But he's been quiet. He's been quiet. He ain't been saying too much. You know what I'm saying? I think he's kind of trying to learn to live in silence like Kendrick in a way, but he's still doing a lot of goofy shit. But he's saying, if he's saying, well, because see, I'm going to put it to you like this. I don't believe academics. And he could say whatever he want. He could say, he could, he could say, I don't believe that he talked to Drake about this. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I believe that Drake didn't say anything to him about it. And I think he's just making the story up. 
I'll be honest. Unless I see it, because when that, from now on, I have to see it to believe it. And even even with that, I'm still gonna question that sometimes because people can fake shit. But if I don't hear Drake say it out his mouth, then I'm not gonna believe it until I hear him say it out his mouth. So either way, now what Wack on Wack what Wack said, Wack basically said that he read it off of something. And Drake was sending the cease and desist. He sent the cease and desist letter to to the NFL. That's what he said. He said he read it. Now, again, I'm not believing nothing until it happens. That's just it from now on for me. Because a lot of times we get people who say things and then they backtrack because they either don't have the right information or they just say it just for clicks. Who knows? I don't know if that's what Wack was doing, but still and all. But I don't believe academics. I don't believe that he heard it from the horse's mouth. I don't believe none of that. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? He's down to take bets. So we can make some money if he's lying. And I know somebody I think he's using me. He can make some money. So academics is saying a lot of people accuse Drake of using academics. And a lot of people think that Drake doesn't really care for academics in that way. And that's why academics is saying, well, if you think he's using me, then let's make a bet on it. Now, I'll take it with a grain of salt, to be completely honest with you. I'm not entirely sure if I would uh, believe WAC 100 or academics at this point. You know, regarding the Game 2 allegations that academics had spewed on the Internet and later on saying that he didn't know if there was, really was a Game 2. And then you have WAC 100 who um, came out and said that it wasn't true just directly so but you see that's another thing too about about academics he does this a lot and he switches up his stories he he goes around and says stuff like you could uh watch watch we gonna win game two we we gonna win game two and it's like wait a minute dog what you mean we what do you mean we but he does this a lot and he, he is a mouthpiece for Drake. I don't understand why why DJ Academics acting like he's not a mouthpiece 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 for Drake. I don't understand. I don't understand why he doesn't just admit that. You've been a mouthpiece for Drake, bro. I'm still messing it up. <laughs> You've been a mouse mouse. That's a that's a tongue twister. Mouthpiece. You've been a mouthpiece for Drake. You've been a mouthpiece. You've been mouthpiece. You've been a mouthpiece for Drake. Ah, you like that? <laughs> You've been a mouthpiece for Drake, bro. Like literally. You know what I'm saying? And so all of a sudden now you want to act as if like you just, oh yeah, like nah, we can make money, nah. Mm -mm. Cause it's it's you gotta you gotta pay attention to the to the words, the wording. I didn't send it. You have to send it to someone. Put it out. Yeah. Cause it could be, it could be from somebody else. I don't think whether there's a cease and desist or not, I don't think it's going to matter. In my opinion, I think that Kendrick Lamar is going to perform not like us at the Super Bowl. I think he's going to perform euphoria, and I don't think he will perform meet the Grams. If he per if he performs meet the Grams at the Super Bowl, <laughs> that would just be crazy, bro. But, yeah, I don't think that academics – is lying right here. I didn't believe Wack when he said it, but it was just a good conversation piece to have because that was something that's been talked about in media outlets. Joe Budden's podcast had mentioned it. A lot of other YouTube channels had mentioned it regarding a cease and desist. But truth. But here's the thing. This is where this all came from. All of this came from Charlemagne because Charlemagne was saying that. Y'all think that Drake's lawyers ain't drawing up something right now to send to the NFL? And then people were saying that it was a cease and desist because truth be told, people want, they don't want Kendrick to perform not like us. Like a lot of us do, but a good portion of people don't want him to perform that because they feel like it's overkill. They feel like, okay, Drake's done. Why are you still doing this? This been dragging on. You see the, the memes of the cows and Kendrick face milking the cow. And it's like, nah, dog, this has to happen. This ain't going to stop, bro. 
we're going to keep this going because this is what this is when we say it's up it's stuck yeah that's where it's at and i think a lot of people don't understand that they just they just say whatever but i mean let's be clear here drake brought this on himself so he just got to deal with it that's just that because trust and believe if if any of his songs would have stuck he would have been performing it he did it to meek mill None of y'all had a problem with Drake doing all this shit to Meek Mill. Nobody had a problem. Nobody had a problem. He was performing, putting memes up of Meek Mill in the middle of concerts. No one had a problem with none of this shit, right? But now y'all got an issue with Kendrick Lamar playing Not Like Us because it's Drake. But nobody had a problem with Meek Mill's getting his head beat in. So it's not cool. And I'm not feeling that. But like I said, I think personally, he's going to perform not like us. I don't know about Euphoria and I don't know about anything else, but I think he's going to, he's going to have a set. It was going to be not like us. Uh, maybe humble. Um, uh, we are going to be all right. A couple of other joints. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think he's going to start with, with, he might start with, he might start with Euphoria, but he might not, uh, you don't go all the way into the song. So he's going to probably do about 10 joints, but it, they're going to be all broken up. You know what I'm saying? He might do something from the Black Panther soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pray for me. Like, I don't know. It's up in the air, but I'm sure he got it figured out already. You told, it's like everybody had said in the last video, man, I don't think it's going to matter. It's not going to stop anything. I think, academics and Drake probably probably do text each other to a certain extent, but I don't think it's as much as we think, but it's just weird though, because there's another clip and I can't find it right now, but there's another clip where academics says that Drake tells him to ask him anything and academics feels too nervous to ask about anything, which I think is weird of him to do. Like he kind of just gets kind of like, nervous about the conversation i don't know it's in the same clip where he talks to hitter j3 and that's another thing you talked to hitter j3 which i thought was crazy too but in all in all i don't think that the performance is going to be stopped i don't think that kendrick is going to stop i don't think nobody's going to make him stop season the sis or not that song is being played at the super bowl and everybody's gonna sing the song. Everybody's gonna sing all the other songs. I know the choreography for the for the Super Bowl halftime performance is gonna go crazy, bro. I know this whole entire performance is gonna go crazy, bro. But yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. Make sure y'all go follow the Ville, man. You see he's up to almost five thousand subscribers. Be trying to get him over ten thousand. So make sure y'all go follow him. Yeah, somebody asked me, they said, why do you always promote people and don't get paid for it? I said, you know, that's not how this works. And I said, yes, it is. I'm getting paid by promoting them. That's how I get paid. That's my payment, promoting them. I know you're probably saying, well, how does that make sense? Because I like, see them, I like to see them successful. That's all it is. It's enough money for all of us out here. Trust and believe. I don't think I don't think anybody knows how much a billion dollars is. I think people think a billion dollars is just a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? We ain't nowhere near that. We ain't even near a hundred million. We ain't even near a million. But I'm just gonna say, there's enough money for everybody. So if I could promote somebody, I'm gonna do it. I mean, who knows? One day I might get big enough and I might be like, look, man. You know, <laughs> I need some bread for me to promote you. And you shouldn't have a problem with it because it's the same thing. I would pay, pay to be promoted too. There's nothing for free. But at the same time, I mean, we all trying to come up. And if I'm up, I'm pulling somebody up. I'm pulling at least five, six people or many people I can. That's what it is. So that's why I do it. I don't need nothing from these dudes. If I can promote your page. And I don't even have to ask you to promote it. If if I see that that uh, well, I don't even have to. See, you don't have to ask me. That's what I mean. 
if I see that you got 2,000 subscribers and your videos are good, I'm going to put your video up. And I'm going to tell people, yo, go follow this dude. His videos are good. <laughs> like, he needs more subscribers because I know that's how it happened to me. When people were saying to me, oh, you the hidden gem, bro. You need, to, you need more subscribers. Yeah, I know. That's why I do what I do. Because there's people like DeVille, you know what I'm saying? And there's people like, like um, uh, I can't remember the dude's name, but I'll I put, I put the uh, joint up. People like him who they, they got good content. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? DeVille does a lot of investigative journalism, man, that I think most people don't know. He should be, he should have a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? That's just that. Big Kiss, another one. The boy Big Zoe, another one. All these channels, uh, Chilling with Moni, another one. They should be big. <laughs> so help us out, man. That's all I'm going to say. But either way, man, so how do I feel about this? I know that was a tangent, but I had to, I had to spill that, man. Um, I don't know, man. This whole cease and desist thing, I definitely think that... Uh, it's somewhere lingering around because people wouldn't be talking about this if it wasn't. They wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be talking about this if it wasn't. If there wasn't a thing or something, somebody said something. Somebody's talking somewhere in 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 the scope of those guys. And I think that if 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 uh if, if I put it to you like this, if Drake lives through this, he'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? He'll be fine. But truth be told, I think Drake time is done. And why do I say that? It's because it's hard for you to lose a battle like that and then bounce back. Like, it's not it's not like the Pusha T thing because, see, it's different because Pusha T is not on Drake's level. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is, you know, I'm talking about popularity-wise. So it's easy for him for that song that had got overlooked. But see, this is different. Because this song here is big. And on top of that, this guy's on Drake's level. And on top of that, this guy's a super artist. And on top of that, Drake don't know if he has another one waiting for him. So he's kind of checkmated because he's saying, have you ever thought that OVO work is working for me? Drake don't really know it. People might say whatever they want to say, but they don't know if that's true or not. Nobody knows that because... They did hear Man in the Mirror before it even came out, and it never dropped. And I heard that that joint was supposed to have been cool, supposed to been fire. And they're saying, look, bro, we know you could rap, and you could redeem yourself, but I'm just going to tell you right now, this is what Absol said, you can't fuck, with, you can't fuck with, 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 uh, with this guy. Like, you think what he did with Not Like Us is something. You can't, you can't fuck with Kendrick, bro. Like, you, you can't fuck with the gang, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, that dude is, you got to understand, Kendrick Lamar surrounds himself with elite MCs. These guys really can rap. These guys can really make music. These guys write all the time. You got Daylight, Absol, J-Rock, uh, Schoolboy Q, you know what I'm saying, and himself. I can imagine. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine if, <laughs> if they was to do something. So... And we already know what time daylight is on. So that's all I'm saying, man. Make sure y'all uh, like, share, subscribe, man. I love y'all out there. It's the 8 a.m. show. Wake up. Go get y'all some breakfast, man. You know what I'm saying? And other things, too. I'm out of here, man. See y'all at 12. Peace, bye. <laughs>